and welcome back to Cooking with Sarah. We are doing something completely different this week. There are some strange things that you see in the uh, little food tent here behind me. Some strange cakes, a strange machine. Today we are playing with the FTB Unstable Pack. It is for 1.7.2. It is the first FTB mob pack for 1.7. It is not supported in any way by the FTB team other than them putting it up to play with it and test things out. So, uh, I have taken the liberty of adding a mod to it called, let me adjust my mic here, called Lots of Food. And as the name implies, it has lots of food in it, which we are going to take a look at here today. So let's get back in first person, let me get my hotbar back, let me get back in create, or survival. Um... Uh, I'm using TMI, too many items, instead of not enough items, because I couldn't get any eye to work. That's probably something goofy that I was doing, but whatever. Okay. One of the cool things about lots of food is it's got a lot of very vanilla-like mechanics. I, I think it only has one machine, and we'll get to this in a minute. But mostly, you take things and you can combine them in new ways. Here's just, you know, chocolate and sugar beans. Chocolate and sugar beans. Cocoa beans and sugar. If I remember correctly, I forgot all about this. If I remember correctly, there we go. Two cocoa beans and a sugar makes two chocolate bars. You can actually make a block of chocolate with uh, nine chocolate bars, but we're not going to do that right this minute. You can also, I'm going to put this back in this chest here, I'll get to that in a second. You can smelt sugar in a furnace. No dishes needed, no pots, no pans, no saucepans, no strange machines, no power, no nothing. Just put your sugar in a furnace and you get a chunk of caramel back. You can use this to make caramel apples, you can use this to make all kinds of other stuff. Um, I'm not going to put it in the drink machine right now. You have a couple new kinds of meat. You have mutton, which you get from dropping sheep. You also get calamari from squid. You get horse meat from horses, um, if you're into that sort of thing. And there are some new fish that you can fish up that will give you varying amounts of meat back and various amount of hunger. I'm just going to cook this and see what happens. Can I cook it? No, I think you just have to stuff that in your face raw. That doesn't sound very appetizing. So we'll just put the mutton away. Here's another cool thing you can do. You take your bread, I could have just left it in there, and slice it like so. Want to see it again? Whoops, I just threw it on the ground. Okay, why do I keep doing that? There we go. Bread in the crafting grid. And you slice it. Now what can you do with sliced bread? Well, there's a number of things you can do with sliced bread. Let's make a chicken sandwich first. Get that mutton back. Can you make a mutton sandwich? I'm not sure. Let's try it. Nope. Mutton does not make a sandwich, but that's okay. Chicken does. Like so. If you don't want chicken, you want a grilled cheese sandwich? We can do that too. Let's get a bucket of milk. Let's throw that in the furnace. And boil it up, and boil it up, and boil it up. And you get a bucket of cheese. Which, all you have to do is just take that, dump it into your 2x2, uh, two two, and you get a piece of cheese and your bucket back. So, you just take that cheese, and put it in your crafting grid, and you get yourself a grilled cheese sandwich, which I'm going to eat right now, because that... That sounds really good. Mm. And it's fairly robust food, too. Uh, drinks and ice cream are a little bit... Sh basically, you can you make a glass out of uh, three glass panes like you would make a glass bottle, basically, or a bucket. That will give you a glass, or a couple of glasses. You combine that glass with fruit or vegetables, and I'm going to show you how you get bananas and grapes and stuff here in just a minute. But... If you don't want to remember all those recipes, all you have to do is make an ice cream and drink machine. 
Three iron on top, two hoppers on each side, two more iron on the bottom, two redstone in the middle. If you put your ingredients in here, and you notice you see weird things like leaves and cactus and snowballs. I'll show you that in just a second. It will automatically combine them for you to make your drinks. And I'm going to get some tea here. Tea just uses any old leaves and a glass. And uh, cactus juice is pretty good too. It's the quenchiest. It'll quench you, but it won't quench me right now because I'm not hungry. Um, I'm going to show you one more thing here. I'm going to get a grape juice. And if you take that grape juice and give me some sugar here. I don't know why I keep doing this. Force a habit, I guess. Whoops. Did not need that one in the middle. Uh, see, you can make bricks out of sugar. You put your grape juice in the middle. That will give you wine, which will restore hunger, but also... Oh, oh boy. Make you a little tipsy. That will most definitely quench you. Oh boy. Who? don't look, people. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Woo. Tea does not restore any hunger, but it will remove poison effects, just like uh, a bucket of milk will. Also, it has the advantage that it stacks, unlike a bucket of milk, like so. So you carry a few of those with you when you go dungeon hopping in 1.7. I'll put the chicken sandwich away. And let's see, there's, uh, there's one more food I'd like to show you real quick. Let's make another, make another cheese here. And while that cheese is cooking, I'm going to show you a few of the new crops that you get. These are peppers. What you, how you get pepper seeds is you take just straight up regular grass seeds and combine them with a blaze powder. You notice that they are just planted on dirt blocks. They do not need to be planted on farmland. They do not need water. And you get a pepper from those. I think once you grow them, yeah, you can turn one pepper into four more seeds. So we'll just plant those like there. You can make some stuff out of that. I'll show you in a minute. Grapes you get from zombies, uh, like you would get potatoes or carrots. And then again, once you get the grape, nope. Oh, you just plant the grapes like a zombie, or like a zombie. No, you don't plant a zombie. Like a carrot or potato. And finally, this is a coconut palm. These grow wild in the world. You can get saplings. You knock a coconut down. Coconuts, uh, funny enough, can also be used as projectiles. If you throw it, it'll break in half. And you can use that. I'll put that in the drink machine. You can make a drink out of it. You can make ice cream out of it. I'll just put it in there. There you go. Coconut milk and coconut ice cream. And also, if you punch jungle leaves... I don't know. These are attached to a palm tree, so it might not work. But... Punching jungle leaves will give you bananas in the same way that punching oak leaves will give you apples. So that's how you get the, the new crops. Pretty simple, very vanilla-like mechanics again. Okay, so our cheese ought to be ready by now. Yeah. Let's turn that out. There we go. Okay, we're going to make a pizza. Uh, okay, I can see now I'm going to have to just do this the old-fashioned way. Let's get a pork chop. Let's see if I can remember how to do this off the top of my head. Actually, you know what? I want to say it's three cheese. Let's just go ahead and cook some more up. Um, cook some more up here. There we go. So, you need the crust. You need some meat. And let's get another cheese. And another cheese. I'm not sure exactly what meat that's supposed to be. I, I don't think it's pepperoni. I think it's sausage. And put cheese on top. And you get eight slices of pizza. I think each of which... I'm not sure exactly how much hunger they restore. Finally, you notice we've got four new cakes here. Chocolate, uh, tart, tatine, and I'm probably slaughtering that. Cheesecake and carrot cake. Now, I do not have the recipes for these handy... Um, they're very similar to your plain old vanilla cake, but now if you remember the bakery episode from season one, the uh, Pam's Harvest Craft cakes could not be placed like vanilla cakes. Well, guess what? These can. They work just like vanilla cakes. 
So if you are interested in making a bakery, this is a mod you might want to look into. So that is our quick look at f lots of food, and I will drop a link to the uh, Minecraft forum thread in the description of this video. So if you want to play with it, you can go download it and uh, check it out. And there are a couple other food mods for 1.7. We'll take a look at those later. We'll take a look at more of lots of food later. But uh, that is going to be all for this week. Until next time, bon appetit. Have a good week. We'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.